Hi, I'm Carol, and I'm doing this today because I hope you parents will use this to talk to your kids about God. So I love smoothies. I like all different flavors, but I thought today I would make a strawberry banana smoothie. So I have my bananas here. I have some oranges, or you can use orange juice, and then I have some strawberries. So let's make the smoothie. The first thing is to take a banana and peel it. Take that peeling off because you definitely do not want the peeling in the smoothie. Get rid of that there in that plate. And the good stuff goes in here. And same with my strawberries. I'm going to cut the tops off because I don't want those in my smoothie. And put the good stuff in here. Take the top off. Put the yucky stuff there and the good stuff in the blender. And then I have some oranges, and again, I don't want to put the peeling in the, in the blender, but I want to put the orange juice in. So squeeze the juice out, and I already had some in there. And pour that in my smoothie, just like this. And then if you really want to make it good, you can put a scoop of ice cream in, but I'm not going to do that today. And put the top on. Turn it on. And then you have a very, very yummy, yummy smoothie. I had some earlier. It's really good. The reason I wanted to do this is because your brain is like a blender. And if you, you want to keep all the good stuff, God shows his goodness to you by telling you, what good things to keep in your brain and to put in front of your eyes and to listen to with your ears and what to keep out. So in his word, he says, whatever is good, whatever is true, whatever is lovely and noble, think on these things. Those are the things you put in your blender brain. But the things that are yucky and gross, those are the things that you keep out of your brain. And when your parents give you rules like, I don't want you to watch that TV show, or let's check on that song you're downloading um, onto your iPod. The reason they're doing it is because they want you to be sure to put what's good in your mind and keep out what's bad. So instead of complaining about it, you can thank them for showing their goodness to you and show God showing his goodness to you through his word. 